What's up guys, Matt here and welcome to another video. In this episode we're going to be talking about a very good fragrance. A very very good fragrance from the house of... Diesel? The fragrance is none other than Fuel for Life Spirit. Now the original Fuel for Life was released in 2007 and it was created by a Nick Minardo and uh, it was a a masterpiece in my opinion. I remember when I used to work in a place called Boots many years ago uh, I was actually working as a fragrance seller there were times when I would just go to the diesel section and literally just I would always sample the Fuel for Life because it was always just this very nice designer release and this was around 2014 time so this had already been released and um, I actually hadn't noticed this one in the shop where I was working and with being a big fan of the original, I saw this and I was like, wow, I didn't know Diesel had released a flanker for this, or at least a flanker for Fuel for Life. So what I did was I smelled it and I remember all those years back, just I remember smelling it for the first time and literally just falling in love with the scent. I've had it in my collection for probably about two months now. I got this on eBay, I actually won it in an auction. Uh, I haven't used that much of the juice. It was a half full and I, I think I spent like five pounds on this so really good price in, in terms of how this fragrance can be quite pricey on eBay and, and whatnot and the fact is it's discontinued now so it's really hard to find and, and the fact that people are not really talking about this fragrance anymore is something that I think uh, people need to remember for you know they need to remember this scent i'm really into my retro fragrances originally but i really wanted to check out this one because i heard so many good things about the re like the reviews on fragranica and whatnot and i remember for just really falling in love with it for the first time all those years ago so yeah this version of fuel for life what can i say when you first smell this, you get the original DNA, without a doubt, that whole anise kind of character. Even though this fragrance doesn't contain anise, the DNA for the original Fuel for Life is in there. But it's it's done in a way where if you smell this, you get a completely different smell as well. So it isn't the same as the original. In fact, it's miles apart from the original in terms of its quality. So, so this fragrance was actually designed by a perfumer named Fabrice Pellegrin. I've actually never heard of him, in all fairness. Uh, I don't know what else he's created. Let me know what else, like, any of the fragrances that you like that he's done. Do let me know in the comments. But uh, this fragrance was released in 2013, so... I was working at Boots when this was, uh... When this was out. And I remember people coming in and buying this all the time when I was working there. This was just one of those fragrances that seemed to do very well during its release. And the fact that it's discontinued now really doesn't make sense, in my honest opinion. Now the juice colour is just absolutely gorgeous. Really, really gorgeous. What it says on the front here, it says Diesel, Fuel for Life Spirit, and then right the way underneath here it says Use with Extreme Caution. And the reason for that is because this is literally a strong fragrance. Lasts for a very, very long time. Now the top notes for Diesel, Fuel for Life Spirit are my favorite cinnamon and we also do get some bergamot so this is a very nice spicy bergamot opening with one of my personal favorite cinnamon smells in my opinion this is one of the nicest cinnamon notes I've smelled in a designer fragrance usually it's niche fragrances that seem to be producing these really high quality smells but with this this is just absolutely absolutely gorgeous. I'm actually smelling the dry down now because I sprayed it uh, on my hand in another attempt of doing this of this video but I wasn't a big fan of, of that video so uh, there was a lot of noise and like, like noise pollution going on so that was the reason why I wanted to do this video again so yeah um, so the dry down on my hand is just really really nice but I want I want to spray it again probably so I can get the, the opening. Oh god yeah so that cinnamon is very, very spicy, but with that bergamot at the same time, it literally creates this kind of spiced citrus opening. I'm not going to say like an orange spice because it isn't, it's bergamot. So it's like a fresh, spicy opening, 
with just again, like I said before, one of the most nicest cinnamon notes that I've ever smelled in a, in a designer fragrance, without a doubt. Just absolutely wonderful, really, really is. But when this fragrance is really starting to dry down, I would say probably after probably about half an hour of really drying down on your skin, what you start to get is iris and orange blossom. And the iris, iris, <laughs> excuse me, and the iris and the orange blossom create this very, very nice blend. But the iris, usually iris is meant to create this lipstick smell, it usually does, but in this, it really doesn't. What it creates is this, this very suave smell, but it's it's hard to really put my finger on it. It's just almost, it's, a, it's just comforting. It has this comforting aspect to it. Um, I don't really get a cosmetic vibe out of it, in all fairness. It's definitely more on the side of it being just a very spicy bergamot with this powdery orange blossom, kind of powdery. And there's certain times when I smell this, I actually compare it a little bit to Altamir. But it's not the same as Altamir, without a doubt. Altamir is completely different to this, and this is completely different to Altamir, but it has the same feel in terms of that powdery orange blossom amber element. It's because in the dry down, we actually do get the notes of amber incense and woody notes, whatever that's supposed to mean. I'm guessing woody notes is just, I'm guessing it's a, a molecule that's supposed to create this just very, very, very woody smell. That's what I'm guessing. But what I personally get out of this is a sandalwood. It's like a, a sandalwood in the dry down, which really gives it this balance. And the amber in this is also just something to die for. And I think going back to my like what I said about Altamir, I think with that whole orange blossom and amber amber mix, it's really giving the fragrance just this this kind of just this beautiful very likable oriental scent. Like I've always said in many reviews guys, it's really hard to review fragrances. It's hard to really tell you guys what it smells like, but to give you guys just a description, that's all that a review is. That's all reviewers do is they just give you a description of what their nose can pick up. And that's all I'm really trying to give you. It's, it's just a gorgeous blend. And I think if you guys are in the oriental fougeres, you, you're, you know, you're really into cinnamon, you like your amber, but you're also into like notes like iris, orange blossom. You really do need to give this a try. It gets compared to so many fragrances. It actually gets compared to one of uh, YSL's fragrances. I think it's La Nuit de L'Homme Parfum. I think it gets really, uh, really compared to. Uh, and it also, I think it actually gets compared to, uh, where's it at? It gets compared to Armani Code Profumo as well. So it's apparently similar to 1 million. No way is it similar to 1 million. That's got five likes and five dislikes, so. <laughs> but yeah, this, I mean, fragrances are all similar in their own way. Like, of course, there's only so many blends out there and when you put them all together, it's possible that a company is gonna create a scent that smells like something else because fragrances are mass produced many, many times. So. But with this one, I really just get this original smell. I mean, I, again, I don't want to compare it to Altamir or Godier 2, but there is just this similarity to it. But with this, but with the cinnamon that's in this, it just gives the fragrance just this, I kind of really describe it. It's like, it's just pure sophistication. It really is. I would definitely call this one of the better Diesel fragrances. Uh, Diesel are one of those companies that have released a lot of fragrances throughout their whole lifetime. And I mean, this one, you could compare, you could call this one of Diesel's cheaper fragrances, if you like. I mean, this one's one of their later 90 cents. This is one of Diesel's original fragrances, which is made in Germany. So yeah, this one is just, it's a, it's still great. It still has this nostalgic, uh, old school quality about it which is just fantastic but I, there are it's not like all of Diesel's fragrances are expensive is what I'm trying to say there are cheaper ones and there are expensive ones and this one is definitely one of the more expensive ones when it was released I think a 75 mil bottle of this was going for about 55 pounds uh, and I think they did a bigger size as well I could be wrong um, and I think that went for about 60 or 70 um, it could even have been an 80 something I don't know now, if you can find this on eBay, it's probably the best place to find it, or 
in any fragrance groups that you're a part of. If anyone is giving this away and you're curious to try it, you really need to. But yeah, fantastic stuff, guys. And uh, I would just highly recommend this to anyone who is really looking for a long lasting scent. But if there's, especially if they're looking for a signature scent as well, I think it makes a good signature fragrance. Best time to wear this, I think, personally, I think it would, do you know what it is? I think with it being a strong cinnamon scent, usually I would associate cinnamon with autumn or winter time because it's a very spicy scent and it's, it's kind of warm smelling. This is that kind of fragrance I think you could definitely get away with wearing in the spring also. Uh, and maybe even on a cool summer evening. Uh, I think it would do very well for that too. But again, you guys can wear fragrances whenever you want. I'm not one of these people that are like, you know, Oh God, you're going to wear Spice Bomb in the summer heat? I'm not one of those people who would say something. I would accept it, if anything. You, you, we all have a right to, to wear the fragrances that we want to wear, in all fairness. So I'm not one of these reviewers that's going to stop anyone from wearing what they want and what they like, hence why I review all sorts of scents. I'm looking for fragrances that have character and quality to them, you know. Uh, that's what I'm looking for. Mainly character, I think. I don't really care about quality. If a fragrance has a good smell, but it doesn't last long, that's still okay with me. It absolutely is. So I care about blends and I care about smell. It's really important to me that I uh, smell good rather than me smelling good all day. If it goes away on my skin, that's fine. You know what I mean? But it doesn't bother me. So yeah, that is Diesel Fuel for Life. But that's the thing with this fragrance. I'm not going to have the problem of seeing what I said just there with this because this is just potent. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this review. It really means a lot. Uh, thank you for sticking by me really does mean a lot. I really, really do appreciate it. You guys are excellent. So yeah, uh, keep smelling good and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye guys.